the floor. Thank you very much, uh, Chair. And thank you very much, Commission, uh, for uh, bringing this on the table. I think uh, this is a very important uh, topic. Uh, I advocated uh, already a couple of years to lift uh, this ban, and I will explain to you uh, why. So first of all, on the safety, and I think you, you mentioned it already, those processed animal proteins, they are from animals that are slaughtered that were intended for human use. So you could say it's safe also then to use it for uh, animals. And it's, I think, also important to know that the EFSA is concluding the same, that it's safe uh, to use, and that the ban for uh, processed animal proteins was there only as a control measure to be sure that ruminants, uh, ruminant protein will not be included in uh, the feed uh, loop anymore. Also important to say is that you now with lifting this ban are making sure that cannibalism is excluded because you're only using porcine uh, proteins for poultry and poultry proteins for uh, pigs. Um, so with that being said that it's safe and that the, the, the ban was really more a control measure, um, I would like to highlight the very positive effects of lifting this ban and why I'm so much in favor of lifting this. So first of all, uh, as a rapporteur on circular economy, I think it's really great to do so. Uh, at the moment, those processed animal proteins are being burned or being used as a pet food. And that's while we are very dependent on the import of uh, high valuable uh, protein. So in a way, uh, in the vision of circularity, it would be great that we can reuse the valuable animal proteins that we have in the European Union to, to recycle it. Second positive effect is on animal health. As you all know, uh, pigs and poultry, they are omnivores and uh, they need a balanced diet for a healthy uh, life. And um, after the ban in 2001, it was very difficult also for feed companies to preserve a good animal health and to provide them with uh, the, uh, um, the amino acids and the vitamins so very much needed for a good animal health. So with indeed lifting this feed ban, I think this can have a very positive effect on animal health and also a positive effect on the use of antimicrobials because you indeed uh, enforcing a better animal health. Then last point that I would like to make is that I really hope that besides lifting this uh, ban on uh, processed animal proteins, I would like to see that there would be a lift of the ban on the use of insect meal as well. Because this is, insects are a great and sustainable source of proteins. And it's of course at the moment quite strange that if you have a whole insect and feed them to, to animals, that's allowed. But as long as you make a meal of insects, then it's not allowed because insects are considered as farm animals. So uh, I do hear that some of the groups, for example the Greens, are preparing an objection to this. I really ask them to make up them before they make up their minds to open their minds and don't look only to the gut feeling, but really base themselves on valuable arguments. And I do see only positive uh, arguments in lifting this ban. Thank you very much.